Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Safari and Erica Mena situation. So if you guys don't know, there's some trouble in paradise. What's going on is that one of the cast members from Love & Hip Hop Miami, Gabrielle Davis, she basically decided to just come out of nowhere, honey, and drop a bunch of damn receipts on the internet, basically showing that she had a fling with Safari while he's been engaged to Erica Mena. So if you guys don't know, Erica Mena and Safari, they've been dating now for about, I want to say like a year, year and a half. You know, they post all this lovey-dovey shit on social media all the time. You know, they've been un inseparable for months. And so this woman decided to leak all this stuff. She put out text messages, photos, and everything else. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right here. And then she also then decided to go off when she started receiving backlash for her shady ways. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw what Gabrielle Davis posted about her and Safari. So, of course, you know, Erica tried to come for the fans when they were coming at her saying, oh, Safari's playing you, he's cheating on you. She claimed the girl was just looking for attention. Then once the picture started surfacing, Erica changed her tune and she was walking around the house breaking vases and going crazy. So then after that, Safari came onto social media and he publicly apologized to Erica Mena. Y'all go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw Erica Mena, you know, going off. You guys saw Safari's apology. So, you know, at this point, um, the girl is saying that she didn't have any idea that Erica was even there. She thought Safari was still single, which I don't know how because all they do is post each other on their social medias. But that's neither here nor there, okay? My thing is this. Like, I always tell y'all, okay? Karma has a way of coming back. It don't have to be the next day. It don't have to be months, honey. It could be years later, okay? Erica Mena was a proud side chick. She had no problem fucking DJ Envy from The Breakfast Club, knowing that he was married to his wife. They have all those beautiful children together. She had no problem being the side chick with DJ Envy. And y'all remember that whole spat that went out on the radio and DJ Envy had to publicly admit that he was cheating with Erica Mena and apologized to his wife, Gia. And it was just, it was a bunch of mess. But at that point, Erica had no problem being the side chick. You know what I'm saying? She had no problem ruining somebody else's relationship. So I don't feel bad, okay? Safari's in the wrong for cheating, of course. 
But again, it's like, are y'all shocked? Most of these celebrity men, they're just not faithful. They're only as faithful as their options. And if their main chick ain't there, they're going to go ahead and, you know, slide off with the side chick or slide off with the next bad chick that they see. So I'm not shocked at all about Safari, you know, swaying that damn beef stick in a whole nother direction. Because even Nicki Minaj talked about how Safari cheated on her all the time, okay? But my thing is, again, I can't cry tattoo tears for Erica because unfortunately, Erica, you've done this to other women as well. So again, like I always say, karma is real. And if you want to have a healthy, happy relationship, one, be careful how you get into that relationship. Make sure that person is not in another relationship with somebody else. And two, be careful how you treat other women who are in relationships. Don't be so quick to be the side chick. Don't be so quick to be the other woman because once you finally find what you think is love, the same thing can happen to you. So hopefully Erica and Safari are able to, you know, work this out, figure it out and move on from this. It seems like, you know, they are back together. Um, they posted a picture recently. So here goes the picture right here. So it seems like they're working things out. But, you know, if Safari really wants to be with Erica, he needs to change his ways and be faithful. You can't string somebody along and say that, you know, they, they're the best thing that's happened to you. But then as soon as they're not there, you're creeping. Okay, so that's the thing. Like, if you really want to be with somebody, then it's called being monogamous, no matter how bad the next chick is. So it's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out. But I wish them well. Well, a lot of people think that their, their relationship is fake. They're just doing this for, like, love and hip-hop. But I really believe that they're a couple. You know, they've been together for a while. I was seeing sparks between them fly when they did that show on VH1 where they were, like, all living in, like, this really scary house and they had to do all these challenges. That's when I first noticed, like, the sparks between Safari and Erica. So their relationship is definitely real. You know what I'm saying? But again, women need to take this as a cautionary tale. Be careful being a side chick because once you find a relationship that you really love and that you want to be in, you may also end up in the same situation as that previous girlfriend or that previous wife that you were a side chick to, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Erica Mena, Safari Samuels, and Gabrielle Davis basically coming out and saying that she's been the other woman in their relationship. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Deuces.